Hey everybody, Brett from Starry's Gaming here, back with a follow-up on the Choose My Next Let's Play series video. So, we've got a couple of pretty good suggestions. Um, the feedback was really good, I was really impressed, so thank you guys very much for that. Um, I, you know, I ask for feedback all the time and I don't always get it, and this time you guys, like, delivered, so that was awesome. Um, the number one game that really stood out in the suggestions was uh, Battle Brothers, which we're looking at on the uh, you know Steam window right now. Um, so I went ahead and I posted like a second look to kind of you know check out the game and see what changed from the last time we were playing it. And that video did pretty well, and so in my mind that sort of solidified our first choice. So you guys can expect a Battle Brothers series very very soon. In fact. Uh, It'll probably go up the day after you guys see this video. So, uh, Battle Brothers is you know number one, but we still have I figure probably two more slots. I think we definitely need at least one more series. And so the second game that stood out the most from what I saw was probably either Mass Effect, which uh, I'm still on the fence about because. As I was explaining to people in the comments, that's going to be like a huge, huge undertaking because if we're going to do Mass Effect 1, then we need to do Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. You can't really just do like one game out of a trilogy, especially that trilogy. So everybody's got to be on board for that because it's going to take a long time to get through it. Um, I have I think I mentioned this in one of the comments, but I've watched Let's Plays of Mass Effect and each like individual game is roughly 60 or so 25 minute episodes and so we have series that have been on the channel for six months that haven't hit 60 uh, episodes and so a single game could take you know almost up to half a year or so if not longer and so if we did all three games we're looking at like maybe two years of like more or less one series if you want to call it that so that's a huge commitment I don't know if I'm ready for it I don't know if you guys are ready for it if you think you are let me know because if you guys want it I'll do it but until I'm convinced I think I'm gonna hold off on the Mass Effect one at least for a little while I would love to play it again I've been kinda of getting that itch to jump back in and especially with the mods and stuff that are available now um, I think it'd be a lot of fun to try a slightly modded playthrough of it, but we'll see on that one. Um, the other game that stood out was Mountain Blade, which kind of surprised me because I tried Mountain Blade in the past, and it didn't go over all that well. Um, I think I got through like five videos, and I really wasn't happy with the viewership on it, and so I stopped. But... Obviously, the channel has grown quite a bit since then. Um, some people have come and gone, and so the viewer base is slightly different than it was back then, and you know, so that might change things a little bit. I mean, it definitely changes things a little bit. So, um, Mountain Blade is probably going to be our number two series. Um, I guess if you guys are following the channel really closely, this video is going to be going up alongside the last episode of our Total War Rome 2 series. And so that slot will need to be filled. And I'm thinking that I'm going to stick uh, Mountain Blade into that slot. So Monday and Thursdays will be adding in Mountain Blade in place of Total War Rome 2. We'll keep the Total War Warhammer stuff going on because... I do really enjoy the Total War series, and I absolutely love Total War Warhammer. I think it's probably the best Total War game to come out in some time. Um, so yeah, I, I'm definitely going to keep playing it. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to stick in our current campaigns, because I don't want them to get too stale. Obviously, the victory conditions for some of the long campaigns aren't realistic for a playthrough where we want to have fun and not just kind of grind out to the end. So when we feel like we're stagnating a bit, we may move on to a different faction or something, or maybe try out some mods. But uh, I'd like to keep that, or those, I guess, because there's two of them, uh, those particular series going for a while. Uh, so yeah, Mountain Blade will be going in. Um, I think we're going to be playing the Prophecy of Pendor mod, because I jumped into it. 
Um, I was looking, you know, on Mountain Blade forums for suggestions uh, on mods to play, and a lot of you suggested um, Clash of Kings, which is the Game of Thrones one, and I've played that a lot. I really enjoy that one, but I did that one last time, and so I'm a little bit hesitant to go straight back to it. I'd like to do something a little bit different if we're going to try Mountain Blade again. And Prophecy of Pandora is one that I keep seeing come up that's a really, really good mod. I played it a little bit myself recently just to kind of get a feel for it. And I really, really enjoyed it. I think they've done some cool stuff with it that made, that makes the early game a little bit more enjoyable. Um, the Like the mercenary pay is very, very generous and so you can be a very viable uh, army without joining a faction and becoming a major player um, and you know having to like rush through that so um, I think we're gonna be doing prophecy of Pendor if you guys would really really like to see a different mod let me know and I'll do that instead but if there's no real consensus then I think I'm gonna go with prophecy of Pendor because I'm a little bit intrigued by it myself and then let's see what else um, Kerbal Space Program came up as well. Um, that's one that I would like to do, but I need to really put together an extensive mod package for that game because I don't want to do vanilla KSP. And so I would need to do quite a bit of research and download the mods and make sure the game is working, which is much easier said than done. So that might take a while. We might leave it to a little bit later. But that is a series I would like to do. So KSP um, will, you know, will put a pin in that one. But we're definitely going to come back to it. And then what else? What else? Uh, Rimworld was mentioned a couple times. Rimworld is definitely a game I'd like to check out. Uh, it's not out yet, so we don't really need to worry about it right now. But when it does come out, I'd like to cover it. Uh, I might jump on it, you know, the day of release. Otherwise, we'll, you know, get to it at some point. But uh, Rimworld is definitely on there as well, but again, until it releases, uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. It's on my wish list though, so I've got my eye on it. And then uh, Dominions came up as well. Uh, a couple of people mentioned Dominions, which um, I I don't know how I feel about it because it's my understanding, and a couple the people who mentioned it did kind of confirm this for me, is that the learning curve is very steep, and when you do let's plays like this you don't have a lot of time at least in my case because you know I do have like a real job and school and stuff to play the games outside of the recording very often and so I'm worried that that game is gonna be a little bit too difficult maybe not difficult but the the learning curve might be too great for me to learn over the course of a playthrough and I hate to stumble through a game and kind of turn people off to it because I didn't really have time to learn the game properly. So if I can find the time, I'd like to get, you know, my hands on it, play it a little bit beforehand, and then maybe do a series on it. So that way I'm not coming in completely blind because I think in a game like that, it's just going to really hurt the series. So that's my thoughts on Dominions. Um, there was a couple other cool suggestions like Enter the Gungeon, which is something we've never really done. Uh, that's very different than the, the current content that we've been playing or you know showing on the channel. Uh, aside from maybe Starward Rogue, which we looked at for uh, the first impressions videos. Um, so that's kind of a cool you know change of pace that we might take a look at. Uh, what else was suggested? Um, there were a few others. There was definitely a few others. Some people were asking for like Fallout 3, Fallout 4. I actually have a playlist of Fallout 4 on the channel. We did like 35 episodes of it. So there is Fallout 4 on the channel if you guys want to see Fallout 4. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, mine so Minecraft. Um, nobody really mentioned Minecraft, which bummed me out a little bit because I was really really sold on that on the idea of bringing back um, what was it uh, ancient warfare I was gonna do ancient warfare 2 which is the um, updated version of the mod and I was gonna add in a pretty extensive list of other mods to really spice things up because we really didn't mod the first playthrough of it very much it was you know ancient warfare and then there was like I don't know, maybe like three or four other mods that were 
very minor in comparison. Um, in this playthrough, I want Ancient Warfare to be part of the playthrough, but not the focal point necessarily. And so I want to add a lot of other interesting mods that are a lot bigger than everything else that we've looked at in the past, with you know the exception of Ancient Warfare. So I was going to do like growth craft and I don't know, just a lot of stuff. Tinker's Construct probably. Um, what else? What else? What else? I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I've got a whole long list of tabs open on my Google Chrome window to uh, download. So there's several mods that I want to do there. But I was going to try to do like a dwarf themed ancient warfare where we would building we would be building underground and on like on and through mountains rather than you know building farms in the flatlands like we did in the previous series so if that's something you guys are interested in definitely let me know because I'd like to do that and that would fit in the third slot that we've got otherwise um, if there's no interest for that then I'll pick some of the other games that were suggested but I would really love to get my hands on Minecraft again because that's just that's one game that I can't stay away from very long. I don't know why. Because I'll play it for a while, I'll get sick of it, I'll come back and you know just do it over and over. And for some reason I just keep coming back. I don't know why. It's just one of those games. Uh, Skyrim is sort of like that for me too. I've pretty much beat Skyrim to the ground at this point where I just there's nothing left for me to do. But I think there was probably like five or six times after I had beaten the game through about three times where I came back and I, you know, kept doing new playthroughs. So there's some games that just get their hooks in you, you know, and you can't, you can't abandon them. But yeah, so that's my, that's my plan for the, the future. Also, I was thinking of maybe adding like a weekly vlog type thing just to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on because I noticed especially, um, was it, I think it was this week or was it last week? I can't keep track of anything anymore. Um, my girlfriend's mom was in the hospital and so I wasn't able to post any videos for like two days and it was really difficult for me to find a way to communicate what was going on to you guys and why I wasn't able to post. Um, I don't know if any of you even knew that. You may not have even noticed there was nothing on the channel. But um, for those of you, you know, who logged on looking for a video and there wasn't one, I apologize. I just don't really have a way to communicate stuff other than through these videos. Um, I posted something on the Facebook, but there's barely anybody, you know, following the Facebook. And I think I posted something on Twitter too, but there's only like 20 followers on Twitter. So the other 1,200 of you guys probably didn't know. Um, so I'm going to do like a weekly vlog thing and do a little bit more stuff like this where I'll talk about what series we might want to do in the future, what games I've got my eyes on. Um, you know, what's going on with me that might affect the channel. Um, maybe we can do like Q&A type stuff if you guys would like to see that. Uh, just, you know, stuff like that. A lot of other YouTubers do it. I think it really helps with um, interaction. It helps you guys get to know me a little better and me get to know you guys a little bit better. So I think that would be cool too. Maybe we'll do it on like Saturday or something because I never really know what to do with the Saturdays. Everything else kind of falls into the two-day-a-week schedule and then we've got Saturday which kind of sticks out and I've been doing the um, the first impressions videos pretty heavily on Saturday but I can't necessarily afford to buy a new game every week so uh, I think this would help and again I think it would be a cool way for us to kind of interact a little bit more so yeah I think that's pretty much it those are all my thoughts so far um, I'm still taking suggestions though so if there's other games you guys would like to see you can let me know in this video or any other video really just you know drop me a line in the comments shoot me and email. Um, you can post it on the Facebook page, on the Twitter page, uh, hell even the Steam group which uh, I haven't really updated the forum forums on that in a while but uh, nobody's really posting them anyway so I you know kinda got a little bit lax with it but yeah so basically hit me up anywhere any, any way you can. Uh, throw me your suggestions, I'm still taking them. Uh, nothing is set in stone yet except for Battle Brothers release so Definitely let me know how you guys feel about that. And so I think with that, we'll go ahead and end this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Um, please feel free to share them however you guys see fit. And I will see you guys back here for, I guess, Battle Brothers Part 1.